Today, I have a special friend that's about to call me and tell me what she wants to see me cooking. Her name is Max Reeves. She's a very talented actor. She's been on multiple different movies and TV commercials. She's also a successful model, but her talent is not just that. She is out of this world intelligent person. She speaks English, Japanese, Russian, and two other languages I believe were Italian and French. That's five languages. How does that work in her head? I'm barely keeping up with two. I feel like every time I learn two new vocabularies in English, I forget two vocabularies of my own native language. Ah, there she is. Hi, Tetsu-san, konnichiwa. <laughs> Hi, Max. How are you doing? I've been good, thank you. I mean, this whole year has been terrible for the movie industry, but um, I've been doing a lot of writing for things that hopefully will still take place and happen in the next year, fingers crossed. And, um, you know, trying to stay busy and productive and positive. How about you? Yeah, you know what? I started YouTube channel. Hmm. And I'm doing this series of home cooking, sharing my home cooking recipes with the viewers. So what do you think? What do you want to see me cooking? That's such a great idea. I love it. Um, how about miso glazed cod? Hmm? You know, I love fish and I love miso glaze. I've been trying to make it on my own, um, but just struggling a little bit. So I think if I steal some tips from you, that'll be very, very helpful. Even though I will never be able to make it as good as you. <laughs> oh, come on. I'm sure you do great. Okay, black cod it is. That's what I'm gonna do. I hope to see you soon. Hopefully see you soon. Bye! Max is requesting black cod miso marinade. If you go to a Japanese restaurant, chances are they will have this on the menu. It's everybody's favorite. I like it too. This dish has perfect balance of sweetness from the marinade, richness of the fish, little saltiness, and little funk from miso. All well balanced. That's what makes this dish super delicious. And if you're thinking, ooh, this dish might be a little hard to make, because it's kind of mystery how they get that beautiful glaze, caramelization, well-balanced flavor profile. But believe me, it is not hard to make at all. It's super easy. I'm going to show you how, so let's get on it. Here I have beautiful black cod fillet. I filleted them myself this morning, but you can have your fishmonger filleting for you. It makes your life so much easier and keeps your kitchen clean. Here I'm cutting the fish into roughly about three ounce portions, but you can cut them as big as five ounce portions. After portioning the fish, I'm going to season both sides of the fish lightly with salt. This is going to draw some extra moisture out of the fish and makes it easy for the miso marinade to penetrate into the fish. Set it aside on a kitchen paper for about half an hour. Half an hour has passed and can you see all these moistures that's coming out of black cod? Here, can you see this? Salt has pulled some water out of the black cod. I'm going to wipe this with paper towel. These little steps are oftentimes being overlooked but these are very important steps. Now moving on to the miso marinade. I have five tablespoons each of mirin and sake. Cook until the alcohol evaporates. You're not trying to reduce it, just until alcohol evaporates. Turn off the heat and add three tablespoons sugar. Stir it into sake mixture until completely dissolved. In a mixing bowl, Mix 4 tablespoon miso with the sake mixture. As opposed to dumping the whole sake mixture into miso, add sake mixture little by little. It's much easier to mix them all together that way. When everything is mixed, your sake marinade should look like this. Sit the marinade on the side and let it cool down. Once the marinade has cooled down, we can put the fish fillets in the marinade and make sure entire surface is submerged in the marinade. Cover it with plastic wrap and we're going to keep this in the fridge for 
two days. Now I'm going to keep this in the fridge for two days. Yeah, sorry. We need to marinate this for two full days so the flavor penetrates inside of the black cod and black cod will be well marinated. I wish I could eat this now too, but that's not how it works. After two days of marinating the fish, now we're ready to cook them. Huh, two days is a long time, right? I think this is the hardest part of the recipe, is to be patient. Just patient. Whoa. On a baking sheet lined with aluminum foil, coat very thin layer of vegetable oil to prevent fish from sticking on the pan. With a paper towel, clean the surface of the fish. Do not leave any marinade on the surface of the fish. Beautifully lined up. Now I'm going to put this in the oven 500 degrees Fahrenheit. They should cook in about 10 minutes, but it really depends on the type of oven you're using. And the thickness of the fish also matters too, so we need to keep our eyes on it really carefully. Miso marinade has sugar in it, so the fish caramelizes much faster in the oven, more likely to burn if you cook them too long. So keep your eyes on them the whole time. I think the fish are ready. Woo. Look at him. <laughs> Beautiful. Look at the color. Beautiful caramelization. So our patient waiting two days completely paid off. I mean, look at them. Can't get better than this, just like in Japanese restaurants. They're gonna taste really good too. Now it's time to plate. Carefully transfer the fish onto the plate. And here I'm garnishing them with some vegetables. Because I think we should eat veggies, you know? How is this for dinner, Max? Looks good, right? I hope my recipe helps. I'm pretty sure you're gonna do a great job. This looks really amazing. All right, I'm gonna text Max the outcome of today's black cod. Let's see what she has to say. Thanks Max for participating and thank you everybody for watching this video. Go follow Max Reeves on Instagram. Oh yeah, don't forget to push that like button and subscribe if you haven't yet. Bye, see you till next time.